Kia ora, Chrissy back again, and we are going to get into the final, final episode of Game of Thrones. So we have come a very, very long way, um, definitely over a year since I started watching Game of Thrones, what, four or five years after the whole series had finished? At the beginning, I mentioned the reason why I hadn't watched it was because I was so adamant not to after having so many people tell me to watch it. You know, it brought out the defiant side in me that you want me to watch it so bad that I'm not going to just to piss you off. And now that I have watched it all the way through, I'm kind of annoyed that I didn't watch it at the same time as everybody else so I could join in on those conversations, you know, when they were fresh. Uh, because I have absolutely enjoyed the series. Granted, there were a lot of things that pissed me off. <laughs> um, some more than others. I think the one thing that I still kind of hold a grudge on is uh, over and <laughs> demise. <laughs> but yeah, that guy that happened a few seasons ago now, so I'm almost over it. Uh, Hey, at least I can watch, you know, Pedro Pascal and the Mandalorian. So that's fine. But yeah, there have been some things that have, hasn't made sense to me. But really, when I think about it, I have pretty much enjoyed almost everything that this series has put in front of me. Whether I was so frustrated and angry by some characters and things that they did. Of course, you know, you're going to go straight to people like Joffrey and freaking Ramsay. But then the coming up of other characters, which I really enjoyed, like Jon, um, Arya, Sansa even. Which of course brings us to the finale. Now, when I first started, I had told, I had made it very clear that I knew how the series was going to end. So I know in this episode, we are going to get um, Jon killing Danny. I'm guessing that's going to happen at the end of the episode, so I don't quite know what's going to lead up to it I mean obviously from the last episode we had the bells the episode the bells which was the big fight in uh, King's Landing I don't know what is going to happen with her now before John you know kills her um but yeah what's going to happen to King's Landing I mean it's it's an absolute diabolical mess who is going to end up on the throne um, John was so adamant that he didn't want it and I'm pretty sure I remember him going back to the wall so who's going to end up on the throne I mean this episode this last episode is called the Iron Throne so um let's find out I can't believe it I can't believe I'm, I'm here at the end Whew, okay I have tissues just in case. I don't know if I'll need them or not since I know how this is going to go. <laughs> um, I keep saying that, but all I know is that he kills it. And it's like, that can't be the whole, what, one hour and 18 minutes. Let's get into it. All right. Season 8, Episode 6, the series finale, The Iron Throne. Let's do it. Oh, here's Tyrion. He kind of... We kind of lost sight of him in the last episode as he was walking into King's Landing. Oh, children and everything. Mm hmm. In the name of the one true queen, Daenerys Targaryen. He's still alive. I sentence you to die. These men are prisoners. How much more defeated do you want them to be? They're on their knees. They are breathing. Whoa. We should speak with the queen. They're gonna kill those guys. Just, just go, John. There's nothing you can do. <laughs> it's his golden hand. I'm surprised that that's all that they had on top of them. Like, the whole thing came down on them.
It's a good shot. <laughs> Big ass Targaryen f flag up there. Here's Drogon. There she is. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, look at that. Queen of Ashes. Second thoughts, maybe? Uh-oh. Dude, what are you doing? Shit. Arya. She knows who you are. You'll always be a threat to her. I know a killer when I see one. Oh yeah, I mean you just witnessed it first hand. <laughs> I can't justify what happened, but the war is over now. Is it? Did she sound like someone who's done fighting? Hmm. Everywhere she goes, evil men die, and we cheer her for it. And she grows more powerful and more sure that she is good and right. Huh. Is that how I got sucked into this whole thing? Do you think I'm the last man she'll execute? Who is more dangerous than the rightful heir to the Iron Mm-hmm. That's her decision. She is the queen. Jesus, fuck me, John. And your sisters. Do you see them bending the knee? Nope. Why do you think Sansa told me the truth about you? She doesn't want Danny to be queen. She doesn't get to choose. No. But you do. And you have to choose now. So stubborn. Look at her face. Christ, that's kind of creepy. <laughs> When I was a girl, my brother told me it was made with a thousand swords from Aegon's fallen enemies. So many fallen enemies, you could only see the soles of Aegon's feet. I saw them executing Lannister prisoners in the street. It was necessary. Necessary? Have you been down there? Have you seen children, little children, burned? I tried to make peace with Cersei. She used their innocence as a weapon against me. It's not easy to see something that's never been before what about everyone else all the other people who think they know what's good they don't get to choose oh fuck <laughs> you are my queen now and always this is it isn't it Yep. <sighs> How the hell is he going to get out of here? <laughs> Shit, just like that. Um, it's Drake. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Drake on nose. Fuck. Dude. Dude. Dragon incoming. <laughs> oh, that's sad. <laughs> yeah. His trilling is sad. Oh, that's creepy. He's upset. gonna take it oh fuck no 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 i thought he i thought he survives oh 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 it's just he's just being angry 
Oh. Oh, he's... He's going to mount the throne? Oh, he is. He's like, fuck this throne. <laughs> Okay, I didn't know that was going to happen. <laughs> so we're not having anyone sitting on the throne. Well, I guess you don't need a throne to, you know, an actual ch throne. He's taking her? Okay. He's out. It's like, fuck these guys. Let them kill themselves. Let them kill each other and then themselves. Oh, shit. No, he's got a whole freaking battalion of uh, Dothraki and the Unsullied to deal with. He's just fucking killed their queen. Oh. Oh. Okay, when did they get here? Oh, how, how much time has passed? Where's John? They were both to be brought to this gathering. We will decide what we do with our prisoners. Cersei is gone because of her, and Jon Snow put a knife in her heart. Oh, so they know. Say another word about killing my brother and I'll cut your throat. Friends, please. <laughs> We've had enough war. We need to find a better way. We do not need payment. We need justice. Jon Snow cannot go free. It's not for you to decide. His fate is for our king to decide. You're the most powerful people in Westeros. Choose one. Huh. Just like that? Make your choice then. What, out of who's here? I suppose this is the most important moment of our lives. Just get on with it. Today, reverberate. Fuck, he's grown. Is that Robin? I stand before you as one of the senior lords in the country. And Uncle. understand. Please sit. <laughs> Sansa. <laughs> oh, it's funny. We represent all the great houses, but whomever we choose, they won't just rule over lords and ladies. Mm. Maybe. The Democracy! Vote! <laughs> to... Well, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'll ask my horse. <laughs> I'm with you, Sam. I suppose you want the crown. Can't think of a worse choice. Who then? What unites people? Stories. There's nothing in the world more powerful than a good story. No. An enemy can defeat it. And who has a better story? And brand the broken. He can't. He's the three eyed raven. He said so himself. He knew he'd never walk again. So he learned to fly. He is our memory. Who better to lead us into the future? Bran has no interest in ruling, and he can't father children. Good. Sons of kings can be cruel and stupid, as you well know. His will never torment us. Then who will be king after him? Not be born. They oh, okay. Chosen. Okay. On this spot, that answers that then. <laughs> ladies of Westeros. Hang on a minute. Doesn't this mean that Bran knew that this was going to happen? If we choose you, will you wear the crown? Will you lead the Seven Kingdoms to the best of your abilities from this day until the last day? <laughs> Why do you think I came all this way? So he knew. The Brandon of House Stark. I say I. Okay. Hi. Huh? 
Sam. <laughs> Bless you, Sam. Hi. 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 Oh, that's right. It's his own house now. Fuck. I love you, little brother. I always will. You'll be a good king. The North will remain an independent kingdom. As it was for thousands of years. Good for Sansa. All hail Bran the Broken, Lord of the Six Kingdoms. All hail Bran the Broken. What a shitty ass name to give him Bran the Broken. <laughs> oh God. Lord Tyrion, you will be my hand. <laughs> oh fuck. No. <laughs> Your grace, I don't want it. And I don't want to be king. Choose anyone else. I choose you. You cannot. Yes, I can. I'm king. <laughs> he deserves justice. He just got it. He's made many terrible mistakes. He's going to spend the rest of his life fixing them. So our new king has chosen to send you to the Night's Watch. <laughs> Okay, I thought he went there on his own. Sansa and Arya wanted you freed. But they understand our new king needs to make peace. Mm. I don't expect we'll ever see each other again. I wouldn't be so sure. A few years as Hand of the King would make anyone want to piss off the edge of the world. I was just going to say, I was just going to say that. I thought, well, there's no, really no wall, but I guess, you know, it only came down over by Eastwatch, right? Back to the wall for, with you. <laughs> Go through all of that just to get sent back to the wall again. Can you forgive me? The North is free, thanks to you. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I'm not going back north. Oh. Where are you going? What's west of Westeros? I don't know. No one knows. Oh. That's where all the maps stop. She's going to go explore? Fuck yeah. You have your needle? <laughs> right here. Exactly where you were supposed to be. <laughs> oh, it's gonna come across Jamie's. You gonna add to it? It's a nice touch for Jamie. Oh my god, Bron! <laughs> oh, he's the maester here? A song of ice and fire. Archmaester Ebro's history of the wars following the death of King Robert. I suppose I come in for some heavy criticism. What does he say about me? I don't believe you're mentioned. <laughs> it's even worse. <laughs> Lord Davos, we have an armada to rebuild and forts to repair. We have. These projects will begin as soon as the Master of Coin and Lord of Lofty Titles provides them. <laughs> the Master of Coin looks forward to helping the Master of Ships. Find the best builders and set them to the task. Well, speaking of builders, all the best brothels burn down. The Master of Coin is willing to fund reconstruction. Business as usual. I once brought a jackass and a honeycomb into a brothel. Tyrion. Yep, oh, hit the wall. But I don't need to man the wall anymore. 
The sun. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, it's all three of them. Okay. All going their own ways. Is she getting a crown? <laughs> I like this rendition. Oh god. So good. <gasps> See that? Gross. <laughs> He's not staying at the Night's Watch? That's it. Wow, okay. Um Wow, I cannot believe that I got to the end. That whole episode, while I actually really loved it, quite slow in a lot of places. Um not sure the reasoning, I mean I guess if you go by what Tyrion was saying about Bran becoming the king, it's not something that I thought, you know, even crossed my mind. Only because, you know, he had said earlier that he, you know, he couldn't be the king because he's a three-eyed raven. I wonder why they decided to backtrack on that. Um, even, you know, by what Tyrion was saying, you know, about the whole the whole speech he gave on, on stories and, you know, what better... What better person to be the king than you know someone that knows you know our past and here's our memory and all that kind of all that all that lovely flowery language um okay i guess i don't know but when it, when it really comes down to it i don't know who else could have been i mean john didn't want it you can't force it force it on him but i don't know maybe he should have <laughs> i don't know <laughs> Um, him him killing uh, Danny though, like even though I knew that he did that, then to just cut to like a couple of weeks later and he's been in a dungeon and you know the all these um uh, house heads have gotten together to pick a new king or whatever, that seemed just kind of quick. <laughs> okay. Um, now I know that there's like a sequel, right? They're 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 like doing a sequel and it's gonna follow John. And while I do I do love John as a character, why would you not want to follow someone like Arya, who who is going to open up a whole new side of Westeros? Because that would be interesting, um, wouldn't it? I mean, what are they going to follow? You know, what kind of sequel are they going to have with John? He's stuck at the Night's Watch. There's no White Walkers anymore, so and that they don't have to deal with you know. The wildlings. So what? What's that gonna follow? I don't know. Whereas if you follow someone like Arya, who is going to you know go west of Westeros, 
I don't know. I don't know. Either way, I'd still I'd I'll still um you know be down to watching it. We've got to get through House of Dragon first. Okay, so how do I feel about it? John's stubbornness to come around pissed me off. But I knew he was gonna end up killing her anyway, so that didn't surprise me. His stubbornness did. Um Drogon, I can't believe survived. Thank God. Um, him t uh, burning the Iron Throne, didn't think that was going to happen. Uh, and him taking Danny's body, that got me. That got to me. Just you know, my inner monologue of of Drogon, like you know, she was my mother. She's my mother. Um, you know, she's, um, she's all that I had. Uh, this is what, you know, they've done to her, you know, fuck this place, burn their throne down, you know, and he flew away like this, basically. <laughs> uh, and that he, you know, why would, why would, um, Bran even care about trying to find Drogon? Just let him be. He's not going to bother anybody. Maybe he'll come back for Jon in the se in the sequel, <gasps> because he's a Targaryen, and he does have, like, that thing with the dragon. Uh, anyway, yeah, yeah, stop talking about that. Stop talking about that. Now I'm not going to do like a huge big uh, dissection of what I, what I, you know, of what I thought about the whole series. I actually loved the whole series. Um, I can understand people's annoyance um, with the, especially the last season. It was so damn short. Uh, you know, they really could have made it. You know, still a ten episode um, season. And I guess they could have uh, worked on Danny's downturn more um, to be probably a little bit more believable. Well, not so much believable, but so it just didn't seem so rushed. I think my main nitpick, um, like just off the top of my head, um, would be a lot of the time, the time jumps. Um, you know, in the later seasons, I kind of forgot how long it takes to get somewhere. Like my, like still, like right now, my biggest, biggest kind of, you know, annoyance is, um, what episode was it? Season seven. Uh, the Beyond the Wall, I think it was called. You know, when uh, our boys were trapped with in the big ring of our whites, at the frozen ice, and then. Pod ran off to, you know, he, I'm guessing he ran to the back to the wall. That's what Eastwatch, right? Ran back to the wall, got a raven from the wall to King's Landing. No, from the wall to Dragonstone. And then Danny rode Drogon from Dragonstone to the wall. And all of that happened, you know, for us in a, a few hours. Now, that whole thing annoyed me because it's just not freaking possible. Now, um, in one of my other comment sections, uh, someone brought up, uh, someone brought up like the fight on the Rose Road. Uh, with the uh, Dothraki and then Danny coming in and burning everything all to pieces. Now, obviously, like a lot of the boats had been destroyed when they went to Highgarden because the uh, Euron's fleet had destroyed them. So, you know, the big question was how did all um, the Dothraki get to get, get from uh, Dragonstone to. Um, to Westeros, you know, to, to where they needed to be. You know, with, with, with most of the uh, fleet destroyed by Euron and the other part of it, you know, with Yara, you know, how did they get all of the Dothraki and their horses um, to where they needed to be? And it is a good question. It is a good question. And, you know, I'm not ashamed to admit that in the moment, I didn't even think of it. I didn't think of it. I didn't care. <laughs> Because it was fucking uh, the sight. It was a sight to behold. 
and that was what I cared about. I guess um, when it comes to like big big things like that, I am blinded by the dragons. I'm not, uh, you know, I, I admit it. I am blinded by them. <laughs> when they come on the screen, I don't care about anything else. And another commenter said, you know, oh, you you always seem to root for the um the flying nuclear weapon. Fuck yeah, I do. Each and every damn time. Um, because they're awesome. They're dragons. You know, you are insane to not fucking love them. Anyway. And again, like, my comment section have been pretty, um, especially in the last few seasons, probably the last three seasons, um, have been ramping up with the old, uh, you know, well, why, why this, why that, why that, oh, don't bother, you know, oh, the season is such shit, the writing is shit, blah, blah, blah. Um, and that's, that's cool, you know, you guys argue amongst yourself. Uh, and I'll just be over here enjoying watching what I'm watching. But all in all, I actually absolutely loved watching this series i had a great time this last you know over a year i've enjoyed immensely the story some parts more than others <laughs> the characters some incredibly memorable characters and i don't think i'll be watching anything you know that i'm a big fan of the fantasy you know and uh i don't know what i'm gonna be replacing it with i don't i have no idea what what to watch next either way for anyone and everyone that uh first subscribed to me because of game of thrones uh thank you very much for coming on this wild ride with me for uh, helping me uh explain things to me showing me like differences between the book and uh you know the tv show um, so there's a few people that love to put passages in the book into my comments and they're always interesting to, to, to read and I think most of all never want spoiling anything for me and that is a feat in itself and I really appreciate I really appreciate it I appreciate every single one of you that um, came on this journey with me thank you so much thank you for subscribing so hopefully you stay on um, for whatever else I decide to carry on with. I'm still not sure. I have uh, I'm kind of fighting between two shows at the moment that you know to start. Uh, but yeah, this has been such a great ride. Thank you everybody, um, and I guess we are going to just leave it here. So once again, thanks guys, and we'll see you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, take care of yourself. See you guys.